Hey friends, welcome to Yellow Yoga. My name is Kelly and I will be your guide. Today's practice is inspired by the element of air, which is connected to the heart chakra and our sense of touch. So when the air element is balanced, we're better able to connect to others, our environment, ourselves, all about connection really. And then additionally, the air element brings us a bit of mental clarity. So we're gonna be starting our practice with some breath work to help us clear the mind, clear the heart. And then we'll move into some heart opening. Look at the breeze here, this is perfect. <laughs> we'll move into some heart opening exercises and then we'll start using some free flowing movement, getting the breath to move us um, during the practice. So I'm excited and I'll see you on the mat. We'll start our practice today in a comfortable cross-legged seat. Take some time to mindfully make your way to the ground. Once you're there, try to make yourself extra comfortable today. If your hands are not in prayer at your heart center, slowly, mindfully bring your palms to touch in prayer and bring your thumbs to your heart. Tuck your chin slightly and close your eyes. And we'll start to breathe deeply here with ujjayi breath or ocean breath, constricting the air in the back of the throat slightly, inhaling and exhaling through the nose audibly to sound like waves of the ocean crashing on the shore. We'll take some time to breathe on our own. And maybe this time as you breathe, pay extra attention to the feeling of the breath on the body. How does it feel as the air comes through your nose on your inhale and exits through your nose on your exhale? Take your left hand and place it on your heart. Place the index finger and middle finger of your right hand on your third eye, on your lower forehead between your eyes. Gently place your thumb alongside your right nostril and place your ring finger alongside your left nostril. We're going to practice some alternate nostril breathing here using our index and ring fingers to constrict airflow in one nostril and then the other. So when you're ready, press the ring finger, breathe in through the right side, press the thumb, breathe out through the left side. Keep the thumb pressed, inhale through the left side Press the ring finger, exhale through the right. Keep the ring finger pressed, inhale through the right. Press the thumb, exhale through the left. You can continue on your own here for one full minute. If alternate nostril breathing isn't for you, you can choose another breathing pattern of your choice here. As you go about this exercise, try to keep your focus on your breath, on the sensation of the air moving through one side and out the other, back in the same side and out the other, and so on.
All together, let's place the right hand on top of the left hand at the heart. Take one big breath, big inhale here for yourself, for your heart's capacity for love and brilliance, and exhale, let it all out. From here, inhale, send the pinky of your right hand behind your right ear and straight up to the sky. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, place your left hand on the mat at your side. Reach your right arm over your head to your left side and hold for a couple breaths. Tilt your chest to the sky slightly. Keep your neck long. Lengthen as you inhale, surrender and sink deeper into the stretch as you exhale. On your next inhale, come back to center, reach straight up to the sky and on your exhale, twist to your left side Place your right hand on your left knee for some support in your twist and your left hand on the mat just a couple inches behind your tailbone and breathe. Gaze toward the back of the mat or the back of the room or wherever you are. Take a second to honor your past, your journey until this moment every twist and turn, every up and down. Lengthen on your inhale, twist deeper on your exhale. On your next exhale, slowly come out of the twist. Bring your left hand over your right hand at your heart. Let's take one big breath here, big inhale in, and exhale, let it all out. We're gonna switch sides here. Inhale, send the pinky of your left hand behind your left ear and straight up to the sky, reach, Exhale, place your right hand on the mat at your side and reach your left arm over your head toward the right and hold and breathe. Continue to lengthen as you inhale and sink deeper into the stretch as you exhale. On your next inhale, come back to center, reach straight up to the sky, and on your exhale, twist to your right side, gaze toward the back of the room. Maybe this time affirm to yourself, I will let go of what no longer serves me so I can create mental space for new beginnings that do serve me. On your next exhale, slowly come out of the twist. Bring both palms to your heart in prayer. Inhale deeply. Exhale, hinge forward at your hips, sink toward the mat with your torso and breathe. Bring your thumbs to your third eye to press gently on the forehead. And in this soft and humble bow, we honor our highest selves. Come out of your bow and into tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And right away, we'll inhale for cow pose, shine the tailbone to the sky, drop the belly, open the chest, gaze up. 
and exhale, cat pose, arch your back, drop your chin, create lots of space between the shoulder blades. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine. And exhale, send the hips high and back for downward facing dog. Take a second here to invite some soft movement into your first downward dog. Let's meet together with one collective inhale here, all the way in, and exhale, let it all out. Inhale, lift the right leg high and back to the sky. And exhale, step the right leg between the palms, lower the left knee to the earth. Inhale, lift the arms forward and up, low crescent lunge. Exhale, let it all out. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, sweep both hands behind you. Clasp the hands behind the back. Inhale, straighten the arms, sending energy out and away. Shine the chest to the sky. Exhale, listen to the sound of your breath. Keep breathing here at your own pace. When you're ready, we're going to move into gate pose. Unclasp the hands, turn the left knee 90 degrees so your lower leg is parallel to the back line of your mat. Your foot is on the right edge of your mat. Straighten your right leg and pivot your right foot so your toes are facing the left side of the mat. Keep that right foot planted, sole of the foot on the mat. Hips are squared now to the left side of your mat. Now reach your left arm straight down to your left side, shoulder over wrist, to form a straight line from the crown of your head to your right foot. Reach your right arm over your head now toward the back of the mat, elongating that straight line now from your fingertip of your right hand all the way to your foot. Rotate your chest slightly to shine your chest to the sky and breathe. Let's make our way out of the pose now. Sink the hips back slightly Walk your hands to the front of the mat and meet in low lunge, back knee lifted. When you're ready, we'll have a big inhale here, deep, deep breath all the way in. And exhale, send the right foot back to meet the left in downward facing dog. Big breath in here and exhale, let it go. Inhale, switch sides, lift the left leg high and back to the sky. And exhale, step the left leg between the palms, lower the right knee to the earth. Inhale, lift the arms forward and up, low crescent lunge. Exhale, let it all out. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, sweep both hands behind you. Clasp the hands behind the back for your big heart opener here. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, we'll move into gate pose on this side. Unclasp the hands. Turn the right knee 90 degrees, straighten your left leg, toes are facing the right side of your mat, left foot is planted, hips are squared to the right side of your mat now, 
When you're ready, you'll reach your right arm down to the mat. Shoulder over wrist. Reach your left arm over your head toward the back of the mat. Rotate your chest slightly to shine your chest to the sky. And breathe. Let's make our way out of gate pose. We'll sink the hips back slightly. Walk the hands to the front of the mat and meet in low lunge, back knee lifted. Big inhale, deep, deep. And exhale, send the left foot back to meet the right in downward facing dog. Big breath in here and exhale, let it go. Slowly, with as many breaths as you need to, walk your feet to meet your hands at the top of your mat and rest in forward fold. For the next couple sequences, we're going to move with the breath in exaggerated heart opening movement. I want us to try to really expand big on our inhales, like we're open and ready to catch the wind and contract fully on our exhales, like we've caught the wind and we're moving now. In forward fold, let's take a big breath in here and exhale, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, let it go back down, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, ground through the feet to rise all the way up to standing, hands overhead in a big celebratory V. Exhale, lower the hands down to your sides, mountain pose. Inhale, lift your hands to your sides to form a big, open, expansive T. Capture all the energy of the universe. Exhale, slowly bring the hands to meet in prayer at your heart. Inhale with the hands in prayer, lift the hands up to the sky to give all the power back to the universe. Gaze up, slight back bend. Exhale, swan dive to the ground. Hinge at the hips, back into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, down to forward fold. Let's do it again. Inhale, root to rise, ground through the feet to rise all the way to standing, hands overhead in a V. Exhale, lower the hands down to your sides. Inhale, lift your hands to a T, shine the chest big and bright. Exhale, contract the core, bring the hands to meet in prayer at your heart. Inhale, lift the hands up to the sky, gaze up, slight back bend. Exhale, swan dive to the ground, hinge at the hips, back to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, down to forward fold. I'll give you a minute or two for two more rounds here on your own. And when you're done, we'll meet in mountain pose.
If you're not in mountain pose, come meet us here. Take a second to check in with yourself, how you're feeling after that powerful movement. On your next inhale, reach your hands up to the sky, slight back bend, gaze up. Exhale, swan dive down to the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, plant the palms, step the right foot back to low lunge. Inhale, big breath here, lengthen. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and up to the sky, high lunge. We're not staying here very long. Exhale, warrior two, and breathe. For warrior two, plant your right heel on the ground and pivot your right toes and your hips toward the right side of your mat. Your arms are stretched out long, your left arm toward the front, your right arm toward the back. Your gaze is over your left arm. On your next inhale, straighten your front leg, reach both hands up to the sky to kiss in prayer, gaze up. Exhale, sink back down to warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach high. Exhale, sink back down to warrior two. Continue this on your own for a couple of breaths. Wherever you are, let's meet in warrior two. Take one deep breath in here and exhale, let it out. Inhale, high lunge, pivot the back foot, lift the heel, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, clasp the hands behind the back, straighten the arms, sending them down and away from the body in a big heart opener here. Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. Inhale, one more big breath. And on your exhale, move into humble warrior. Send your clasped hands up to the sky, hinging forward at your hips so your chest and belly is gently touching your left thigh. And we'll take just two deep breaths here. So big inhale all together and exhale, let it go. Inhale, find your strength here and exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, unclasp the hands, sweep the hands forward and up high, high lunge. Exhale, step the back foot to meet the front foot for forward fold. And breathe and rest. And we'll even it out here and switch sides. On your next inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, plant the palm, step the left foot back to low lunge. Inhale, big breath here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and up to the sky, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two, and breathe. On your next inhale, straighten the front leg, reach both hands high up to the sky to kiss in prayer, gaze up. Exhale back to warrior two. 
Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach high. Exhale, back to warrior two. And you can continue this on your own. Wherever you are, let's meet in warrior two. Take one deep breath in here all together and exhale, let it out. Inhale, high lunge, pivot the back foot, lift the heels, sweep the arms to the sky, gaze up. Exhale, clasp the hands behind the back, straighten the arms, sending them down and away. Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. Inhale, one more big breath. And exhale, move into humble warrior. Take two breaths here on your own. On your next inhale, gently unclasp the hands, sweep them forward and up for high lunge. Exhale, step the back foot to meet the front foot for forward fold and breathe and rest. When you're ready, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach all the way up to the sky. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step both feet back, hips high and back, downward facing dog. Breathe. When you're ready, lower the knees, spread the knees wide. Send the hips back for child's pose. Maybe roll the head a little left to right to give your third eye a little massage on the mat. Winding down now. While you're here in child's pose, Take a second to check in with all the things your body is feeling. Are you feeling looser, stronger, more tired? Is there any built up tension anywhere? Is there any restlessness? Do you feel that maybe some muscles have been neglected or there are some areas that need a bit more stretching? From here, I'll give you two full minutes to listen to and fulfill those desires on your mat before we make our way to Shavasana. Enjoy. Wherever you are, let's even it out now. Do whatever final, final movements are needed and make our way onto our backs for corpse pose, Shavasana, the final and most sacred pose of the practice. On your back, 
legs out long, arms to your sides. Then from here, start to listen to your own breath and start to clear your mind. When thoughts arise, observe them simply, without judgment, and let them go. Thank you for joining me today. I definitely encourage you to stay here for a couple minutes as you finish out your practice. I wish you peace and light. Namaste.